friends, his word is ever so true. God is truly amazing. He's so awesome. The word of God says unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think according to his power that's working in you, his power that's working in me. The power of God is working this evening. Those are joining on YouTube at this time. I want to share with you a theme. I want you to go on YouTube, search for this theme. You will thank me later. And when you hear me using words like these, you will thank me later. And the me is not Rashane Douglas. I'm just the vessel that God uses to bring across this message to you. The Lord says, you will thank me later. God is speaking directly to you, woman of God. He's speaking directly to you, man of God. He says, you will thank him later. So that's my devotional theme. You will thank me later. I'm just sharing the way God gave me. The inspiration came out of a situation, a dark situation. And I heard these words, you will thank me later. And those words have been resonated in my spirit. I've been thinking about these words, the statement, you will thank me later. You will thank me later. And you will thank me later. So first Peter 2 verse 9 says, But you are a chosen generation. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you, man of God. You are a chosen generation. This is what it also says. A royal priesthood and holy, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show for the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. No. Now, there are some people who are in darkness at this time. The darkness of fear. The darkness of trembling. The darkness of disobedience. The Lord is pulling you out because God says you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. The Lord is pulling you out this evening. Are you feeling that pulling? You're about to make a decision concerning your job. And the Lord says, you will thank him later. The Lord says, make the right decision. Don't compromise your Christianity. Because your weeping may endure for a night, but your joy is coming. It might seem as if you're losing in this moment, but the Lord says to tell you that you are winning. You will thank the Lord later. Do you remember when I spoke about the topic, you know, God allows it? It's a similar topic this evening. Because the it in your life is an intense testing trial or maybe it's a tribulation. But God says he's in the midst and you will thank him later. And when I think about this devotional theme, I think about the story with the three Hebrew boys. King Nebuchadnezzar said to them, they need to bow to the golden image. But they said, him to, they said to one another, these are three Hebrew boys. We know them as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But their Hebrew names were Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Now these three men 
They did not bow. They did not compromise to the laws or the decrees that the king was making at the time for them to bow to that golden image. Because they knew who they were. Now, 1 Peter 2 verse 9, the New Living Translation says, But you are not like that. You are a chosen. Come on. You are a chosen. Come on. You are a chosen people. You are royal priests. A holy nation. God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God. For he called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. There are some people God is pulling you out of that dark situation. You might think as if, you know, God is not with you. But he says to remind you that he promised in his word that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Even when you're thrown in the fiery furnace. Notice these men, they were at the point where the king made that decree that he was going to throw them in the fiery furnace. In the moment, I believe that if they said to the king, you know what, king, I'm going to bow to your golden image. And maybe I think the king would have spared their lives. But these men said to themselves, we're not going to compromise. We're not going to compromise for this promotion on the job. Our Christianity, our relationship with God is more important than a job. Because God says in his word that he will supply all your need according to his riches and glory. By his son, Christ Jesus. Say precious Jesus. Your hope is built on nothing but Jesus' blood and his righteousness. The blood of Jesus, it reaches to the highest of mountains and it flows in the lowest of valley. God is giving you strength at this time to make the right decision hey! your decision making is important making the right decision you're not like that my friend you are not ordinary the reason why god allows it he said in romans chapter 8 and verse 28 he says and we know that all things work together for good. God says you will thank him later. Is there a praise on the inside of this evening that you can't keep to yourself? I know there's a praise somewhere there. God allows the heaviness because he wants to give you a garment of praise for that heaviness. For that dark situation. I don't know who God is pulling out this evening. I want you, you to reach out. If you're watching me, I want you to reach out. As I point my as I pull my hands from the direction of the camera, it's like prophetically, I'm pulling some people out of darkness, out of sickness, out of disobedience, out of setbacks, disappointment. God is getting ready to lift your spirit this evening. So sweet to trust in Put your trust in Jesus, my friends. You will thank him later. You're not able to pay that bill. Your family members are not well at this time. You just came out of a relationship. A very painful. Very hurtful relationship. But God says you will thank him later. He allows it, you know. 
I really want you to close your eyes right now. And I want you to imagine a better place. As a matter of fact, there's a woman who's listening at this time. You're in a rented apartment. And you're believing God for your own home, a better place. That's what I heard a while ago. You're seeking God for a better place. A place to dwell. A place to live. You're saying, God, I need a better place. Are you that woman that I'm speaking to? Or maybe it's a man. You're seeking a better place. Maybe you're that man, that woman, that's seeking an opportunity to go overseas, maybe to live overseas. But there's so much conditions at this time. Some conditions that will allow you to compromise your Christianity. But the Lord says to, to, to say to you, They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. So I want you to imagine yourself right now going to a better place. Getting that promotion. Close your eyes. I want you to be obedient. Close your eyes. And imagine yourself in that seat. God is taking you there, there. God is taking you there in the spirit. And it will manifest in the physical. I don't know what you're believing God for. But I know that God is making a way right now for you. Believe in the Lord your God and you will be established. Believe in his prophets and you will prosper. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Don't open your eyes as yet. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. And this is what the Lord says. My plan is to prosper you and not to harm you. My plan is to give you hope and a future. And my plan is to heal you by my stripes you are healed and made whole my plan is to bring restoration to you david said he restored my soul my plan is to lead you in the paths of righteousness the Lord is saying this evening, Seek ye first my kingdom and all my righteousness. It's time to live holy. He said in Second Peter, that's First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. You are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. The Lord wants you to live holy. Holy, holiness, 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 holiness. Jesus. We are a holy nation. You know, one thing I love about Jamaicans, we use words very often, or very, very often. We use words, 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 words. Notice in the beginning of time, God said, let there be light, and there was light. What God did, he used words, words, words. Jesus. But whenever we're speaking words as Jamaicans, we should always ensure that we do the corresponding actions of our words that we speak. Because I want to give you an example. Recently, I was really thinking about this. It's now 11.30 right here on the Family Station, Love 101. And you know it's time for the segment 11.30. And when we say 11.30, we speak of Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 30, where it says, The fruit of the righteous is the tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. So us as Jamaicans, we like to use words, you know. 
I was saying that we like to say to other, other people that, you know, we love them, but we don't do the corresponding action. There's a saying that says action speaks louder than words. Let me give you another example. Normally when you're passing somebody on the street, and I realized it the other day when I, I, I was a person who was guilty at the time. Normally, if you don't want to say it to a person, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, or hello, or whatever, sometimes when we're passing these persons on the road, what we use is the word manners. It's like in Patwa, we would say manners. You know, it's like you're greeting that person, you're saying manners. But deep down, you don't have any manners. You don't know to say good evening, good night, hello, how are you? That is the true meaning of manners. Displaying the action, not just saying the word manners. That is not really manners if you understand what I'm saying. Another example we like to use as Jamaicans, we like to say respect. But we don't respect each other. We need to respect each other, my friends. So sweet. There's a saying in the Bible speaks about faith without works is dead. Don't say to your brother, God bless you, when you're the one that God has anointed to bless your brother or your sister. If God says to you, bless that brother, bless that sister, so into this man of God's life, that woman of God. If God is directing you, listen to God. Don't just use words, God bless you, it's going to be okay. When you are the one that God has anointed and appointed to allow the situation to be okay. Don't just use words, take action. Do the right thing. You will thank me later. There's a blessing in giving. Trust in the Lord. Just wave your hands wherever you are at this time. It's an awesome privilege to be in the presence of the Lord. It's an awesome privilege to see the face of the Lord. So we're inside the segment 1130, where it's all about the unsaves, the backsliders. Of course, you know I don't like the word backsliders. I call you forward sliders. Because I prophesy that you are moving forward and not backwards. Those who are ready to serve the Lord, those who are Christians at this time and you're weak in your faith, you feel like giving up, you feel like surrendering, you feel like a, um, compromising your Christianity, I'm here for you this evening. You will thank me later. My friend K. Powell says, while I wait on the Lord, I will continue to worship you and will trust your process. I like that. That's my friend on YouTube. Another person says, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm trusting in you. Want to say hello to K. Dean White and all those on Facebook. All those on YouTube, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for being on the board this evening. And we give God praise for you. We give God praise for Marlene McKenzie, Mika Sweetness, Rosemary Richards, Cassin Cameron, Annie Walker, Cassandra Thomas, Carleen Daly, Claudette Hopewood. So all those on Facebook, you can pull this one up. You can go and watch this one entitled, You Will Thank Me Later. I love this topic. It's 11.35. We're still inside the segment. 11.30. Remember to send your WhatsApp messages to 876-997-3125. That's 
3125. That's 997 3125. That's the number to send your WhatsApp message. And while you're watching this video, I wanted to like the video. I wanted to share it with your friends. Tell them to subscribe to Love 101. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's growing. We're now at 9,000 9, followers on YouTube on the Love 101 FM YouTube page. I really want to thank those joining on Facebook as well. Jamie Evans, hello to you. Ione Brown, hello to you. Neil Thompson Jr. Michelle Roberts, hello. Natalie McLean, hello to you, my friend. Now, there's a testimony coming your way. You're in a in a testing situation at this time, but there's a testimony coming. You're going to smile and you're going to say, man of God, you remember that topic you shared inside the devotional, you will thank me later. The situation that you're currently experiencing, I like the example my the woman of God gave earlier when she said that she will continue to wait on the Lord and trust your process because what you're going through is a process and the lord wants you to trust him yes man what you're experiencing now is just a process it's a part of your breakthrough you will have a great testimony geraldine niche salmon to shane banks So thank you so much, my friends on Facebook, my friends on YouTube. Thank you so much for making it Love 101 FM. And of course, my friends listening on the FM band. So if you're not yet a Christian, you're an unsaved, you're a forward slider, send me a message on WhatsApp. I really want to reach out to you. And also, I will be praying for you at 1145. So it's very important that you take that phone up and send me that WhatsApp message. Send me a voice note. Send me a written message. Whatever way you're able to to communicate that message on WhatsApp, go ahead and do so now. Yes, go ahead at this time and do so now. It's vitally important that you do so. I like the fact that we're able to worship God in spite of our circumstances. We're able to exalt the Lord. Worship you I just love God's presence. Makisha Morrison, hello to you. Maria Scott, Laverne Dawkins Bailey, or Bartley rather. Tamara Miller Pinnock, hello to you both. Hello, those on Facebook. It's all about God's worship. It's not our worship. It's not our glory. All worship, all glory belongs to the Lord. Suzette Hamilton, hello to you, Suzette. Hello, Suzette. Hello, hello, hello. Saying hello to my friends on Facebook. Oh, go on, Marcus Green. So, of course, I was at a men's conference. How can I forget? I was uh, hosting a men's conference just now. Of course, I'm the president of the Men of Substance group. That's the Lighthouse Assembly Men of Substance group. And it's such a privilege and an honor to be leading these men. And we had a men's conference. Of course, we had three speakers. We had three topics. And the first topic was men and sexual purity. Uh, the second topic was men and uh, money. And the third topic we spoke on this evening was men and their families. Now, I want to highlight the three speakers that came on this evening. The first speaker was Pastor Glenville Ligner. Of course, the second speaker was uh, Pastor Christopher Allen. And the final speaker, which is my bishop, Bishop Dr. Rowan Edwards of the Lighthouse Assembly Ministry. So we had these three powerful men of God sharing, and I was extremely blessed. Really want to thank my friend Marcus Green for being on board. I saw you earlier, bro. Blessings to you. I wasn't able to say hello to you while we were on the Zoom platform, but I'm saying hello to you now. Blessings in abundance to you and your family. I want to thank uh, 
Dwayne Tracy he was on as well. Hello to you, Dwayne. Blessings to you, man of God. So keep those messages coming in on WhatsApp, 876-997-3125. Don't miss out on what God is about to do. Praying for my friends who are not yet Christians, those who are unsaved. My forward sliders, those who are ready to serve God. If you're ready to serve the Lord, you're ready to be baptized. I want you to type, I'm ready, man of God. I'm ready to be baptized. I'm ready to serve the Lord. Send me that message on WhatsApp, 876-997-3125. I will always worship you. Don't be silent this evening. Worship the Lord, my friend. who reach out on whatsapp who reached out on whatsapp i want you to type these words god loves me you don't have to be an uh, a christian you don't have to be a backslider forward slider an unsafe 
whoever you are at this time, I want you to type these words. God loves me. God loves me. I feel brand new. Come on, somebody say it. Jesus, you're amazing. Yeah. You make my life feel brand new. I don't want to miss out on what God is doing. I even sent a message to the Love 101 FM WhatsApp line 876-997-3125. I typed those three words. God loves me. God loves me. God loves me. We're getting ready to pray, but I want you to type, God loves me. God loves me. I don't know who you are, but I know that God loves you. And this is what I love about the word of the Lord. And I'm reading the New International or the New Living Version, I should say. It says, love is the greatest. Love is the greatest. And this is what it says in the first Corinthians chapter 13. And it says, if I could speak in all the languages on of earth and of angel, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. I had the gift, if I had the gift of prophecy, and if I understood all God's secret plans and possess all knowledge, and if I had such faith that I could move mountains, but did not love others, I would be nothing. And it goes on to say, if I gave everything I have to the poor and even sacrificed my body, I could boast about it. But if I didn't love others, I would have gained nothing. And it goes on to say, love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable. It keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, about, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out love never gives up love never loses faith it always it's always hopeful and endures through every circumstances my friends love will never fail god loves you unconditionally so i want you to reach out by faith this evening i want you to touch your radio I want you to believe God by faith. Touch your phone right now. Touch your electronic device. I know that there's a blessing that awaits you right now. You're listening on the FM band. You're listening on the Love 101 FM app. You're viewing us via YouTube. You're viewing us via Facebook. I want you to reach out by faith because God is about to do something extraordinary in your life. You will thank the Lord for this moment for this opportunity, for this set time. So Heavenly Father, we seek your face once more. We thank you, God, for your unfailing love towards us, your unconditional love. You said that the greatest of these is love. Though we can prophesy, though we have faith to move a mountain, but you said the greatest of these is love. Help us to forgive each other, to love each other. Lord, as you have designed this segment, especially for those who are unsaved, those who are backsliders, but of course, you know I call them forward sliders. 
I know, God, that you're able to transform. I know, God, that when you show up, you show up. You did it for me, God. You picked me up. You turned me around. You turned my situation around. My relationship situation. My financial situation. You picked me up. You turned me around. You plant my feet on a higher ground on a solid ground on christ the solid rock we stand this evening and we declare god that all other grounds are sinking sand those who are ready to serve you i pray god that you'll give them divine strength you'll grant favor you'll send your ministering angels to minister to their need to protect them in this time to cover them in their going out, in their coming in, from every sickness, from every arm, from every danger, from every plots and plans and schemes of the enemy. We declare that the enemy is like a roaring lion, but you are the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. The enemy comes to kill, kill to steal, and to destroy. But you come, you said, I have come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. I speak abundance where there is lack this evening. Where there is a breaking, I speak breakthroughs right now in the lives of your people. Thank you, God, for this medium, Love 101, this beautiful station right here in Kingston, Jamaica. Thank you, God, for this opportunity to seek your face once more. And those who are ready, I want you to repeat after me, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this moment. I thank you for what you did over 2,000 years ago. What you did on the cross. You died for my sins. Thank you, God, that I'm a new person. All things passed away. Behold, all things become new. Thank you, God, for transformation for healing, for my healing, my deliverance, and my breakthrough. I will serve you from this day on and forevermore. Thank you that you will be my God, and I will depend on you in Jesus' name. And we all say amen and amen. Of course, there's a blessing with your name written on it this evening. I just love the Lord. I love what God is doing through his servants. I love what God is doing for you in the season. I declare this evening that you are free. And who the sun sets free. Mm -hmm. You're free indeed. You're free to worship God. That's right, my friend. God loves you all. He loves you. And because he loves you, he will set you free. There's nothing greater than the love of Jesus. Nothing greater. Nothing greater. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So long I've searched for Life's meaning Enslaved By the world And my greed Then the door Of my prison Was opened By love For the ransom was paid, I was free, I am free from the fear of tomorrow, oh Lord, I am free from the guilt of my past, for after Shackles for a 
glorious song. I am free. Praise the Lord, I'm free at last. I am free. Just about five minutes approaching 12 midnight. Right here on Love 101, you're inside the show, Sunday Treasures. My name is Roshain Douglas of the Christ in Me, the Hope of Glory. You're free, my friend. You're free to worship God. You're free to raise your hands. You're no longer bound. There's no more pain in your body. God is healing you. Jesus is on your case. That court case situation that you have, Jesus is on the case. I am free from the fear. I really want to thank my friends who joined on Facebook, those who joined on YouTube. Remember to share this video with your friends. Carol Johnson, hello to you. She's loving the worship. Hello to you, Carol. Remember to share these videos with your friends, or this video in particular. Remember to share with your friends and remember to like. Love 101 FM YouTube page and of course our Facebook page. Remember to follow and also to subscribe. I am free from the fear of tomorrow. I am free from the gifts of my past. The judge turned my way Looks like you're guilty Someone needs to hear this one Do you? Mercy walked in Jesus stepped in the room I spoke up. Transformation started I, have I don't know your situation but God is getting ready to step into your situation. Mercy walked in. Mercy walked in. Mercy walked in. And pleaded my case. Called to the stand. And if you have never sent a WhatsApp message to our Love 101 FM WhatsApp line, now is the moment for you to do so. We really want to hear from our first timers of this evening. Or in a short while, I'm going to be saying this morning because we're just about a minute away from midnight. So if you have never texted Love 101 before, you have the opportunity to do so at this time. Send me a message on WhatsApp 876 997 3125. You have never texted the station before. You have never reached out to any of the announcers here in studio. I really want to hear from you. You have never done so. So go ahead at this time. Take up your phone. Go on WhatsApp. As a matter of fact, I want you to add Love 101 to your contact list. So I want you to type this number in your phone. 876-997-3125. That's 876-997-3125. Two five. That's nine nine seven thirty one twenty five. I want you to save Love One Hundred One FM WhatsApp line. So if you have never sent a message, I want you to do so right now. It's twelve midnight. It's a brand new day. It's September September thirteen, twenty twenty one. You're in the land of the living, my friend. 
It's your day. It's a new day. The blood was presented. Again, want to thank my friends who joined in on Facebook. Also, who joined in on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being on board. And of course, we'll connect very soon. All right. So the number is, uh, let me see if I can type it for my friend here on Facebook. So it is 876-997-3125. All right. So I just type the number there in the uh, chat so you can save the number to your phone and you can send us a message on WhatsApp right here on Love 101 FM, the family station. Gonna be playing another one from Terry and Douglas. I like this woman of God. I like her songs. You know, I really like her songs. And you know, 